हाय दिस इज कोयला मित्रा एज वी ऑल नो हर औरत अच्छे दिखना चाहते हैं दे ऑल लाइक टू ड्रेस अप दे ऑल लाइक टू लुक गुड एंड इट्स अ पार्ट ऑफ माय प्रोफेशन टू एंड नॉट ओनली बिकॉज इट्स अ पार्ट ऑफ माय प्रोफेशन इट्स माय पैशन आई लाइक टू ड्रेस वेल आई लाइक टू डू गुड मेकअप एंड दैट्स वाई आई हैव अ स्मॉल लिटिल रूम इन माय हाउस व्हिच इज माय मेकअप रूम वेयर आई डू माय मेकअप माय हेयर एंड आई कीप ऑल माय क्लोथ्स सो कम विद मी Let's see what I have in my small room. Well, you have seen me on screen with different kind of makeup for different kind of roles, but this is what I like to do when I go out for my meetings or for parties. Let me introduce my friend Mamta, who has never done professional makeup, but today let me do a makeover, and you see what kind of a difference it makes. Use the liquid foundation, but it doesn't stay for too long because it's water based. Yeah, it's water based. So let me do a proper pan stick uh, base for you. And uh, if you facing the camera, probably you're out partying uh, for hours. Even if you sweat, uh, it's oil base, so it's not going to run. It's not going to become patchy. Uh, do you have dry skin or oily skin? Yeah, dry. My skin is dry. Ah, uh, see, oily skin then uh, based for a longer period. Okay. Dry skin is actually better for makeup. Okay. Then you don't need to puff your face again and again. Okay. So you don't have to put a lot of foundation if you have no, dry skin. No, no. under eye is very important because if you don't fix your makeup properly mm -hmm. whenever you smile there will be cracks so when you do under eye is to powder properly and then probably you can start talking that base is very important because a lot of people you will see dark skin and the face looks white okay or white skin and then you put yellow base and you know it looks strange okay. so yes, right. yeah color base then you have to mix probably two three colors and get the right shade but do you normally lose your tan or lose your color it like changes no no this is your color yeah. so you should you must try two three two three colors together to get the right Okay. I think I got your shade right, and under eye should be always a little lighter okay. because we always have this dark brown patch. Mm -hmm. So under eye and this area okay. should, should be lighter. lighter. Yeah, and this should be and the rest should be absolutely your the color of your hand okay. and your neck. Okay. This is a very very light powder. This is also dry and professional. Only use yeah. this brand. Yeah, it's professional for professional use. people with really broad or round face there you have to do little you know 
cutting your cutting face, nose yeah. cheekbones that but i need to make better nose right but that you can always do it in the shadow it becomes very prominent it shows when you go out if you do it with the base it looks like two lines like this okay so there is always a difference when you're facing the camera you can hide small little you know all this cutting and shading but when you're meeting people okay. face to face they can see everything okay so there's a trick you should always do it with powder so that you see you don't see okay yeah Well, I've kept this powder under your eyes because I'm going to do eye makeup right now, and it's going to spoil your base, especially under eyes. To avoid that, I've kept powder. Once we're done with uh, your eye makeup, then we'll brush it. Okay. So can you just do my eye makeup like yours? Where I really love your eyes. I mean, that's a very Bengali thing. You're a Bengali. <laughs> yeah. You must do it. Yeah. Fine. So we'll do cool eyes for you, and always remember half of your face. You should always. Uh, Either do prominent eyes or mouth. You can't do both at okay. the same time. Bright lipstick and cool eyes. Emphasis on what? Yeah. Okay. Only one part of your face. Either your eyes or mouth. I always stick to light color lipsticks, pink, peach, or nude. And this has become my identity. I think most of the Bengalis we like to put cool, peachy, browny, shiny shadow, and using it with a little water. Very little. Cold eyes. Never use a silver or a grey shadow. Okay. You should always put a basic brown or a peach. Different. This is your soccer. This is a darker shade, and this is a lighter. Shade. You shouldn't ever use very shiny highlight because then Bengali features. Actually, if you're not shooting. Shoots in big screen, you can actually experiment at times. But if you are going out uh, for a meeting or for a party, this is very heavy makeup. I'll tell you for a meeting, but good for a party. Okay. But still, it looks a little strange. So the highlight should be always very little, and you can do a heavy socket. Okay, and white highlights, right? Depends what kind of a color scheme you have. If you are using pinks and browns, you can go for. white highlight depends on your clothes also okay. if you're wearing something gold or tan you can use a gold highlight okay but then you can't use a pink shadow pink and gold doesn't really go look too good okay. Coal is the darkest shade, black. You can't hide it, so you have to smudge it really well with the other shadow, and slowly, slowly you should go lighter, and then you end up with your highlight. That's why your highlight also color should be very, very close to your eye shadow. Otherwise, it'll be like three lines: your liner, and then your socket, and then white highlight. So it's very important to blend all three. So you can't really make out the lines, you know, the bronzer, and then the white highlight. Should look like one shade. It with your shadow. Okay. Then it looks like a you know it gives a smoky smoky light. Yeah.
party with thick Thank you. That is very good. <laughs>